Mattia and I met in our 30s. And we know that dating in your 30s can be much more complicated than it is dating in your teenage years. In this video, I will tell you what we did to make this process less complicated. We are Sabina and Mattia and we used to suck at relationships. But in time, we learned how to have a relationship that feels effortless. On this YouTube channel, we share our experiences and knowledge about it while having a fun adventure in nature. Meeting the right partner in your 30s is a bit more complicated because we have a lot more life experiences but also a lot more fears. So it was very important before I started to look for the right partner that I look deep inside myself and explore all of my beliefs and fears about myself and relationship that I want. You see, I knew I had quite a lot of false beliefs about myself that affected my past relationships. For example, I believed that I was not beautiful enough. That's why I was always looking for the confirmation from my partner that I'm beautiful enough for him. And if he didn't admire me often enough, I accused him that he doesn't love me. And that often led to fighting and manipulation, just because I wasn't confident enough. It's important to change false beliefs into positive ones, because all our beliefs have an effect on our relationship. So the next thing I had to do was, I had to find connection with myself. I had to find who I am and what I want. What do I like or dislike? What kind of relationship or partner do I want? What is acceptable for me in a relationship and what is not? And I had to be truly honest with myself. Because based on that, I decided with whom to build a serious relationship and with whom not to. It was very important to me that my partner understands that we are equal in a relationship. Because I'm no longer ready to be submissive in a relationship. And to Mattia was very important that his partner doesn't smoke because cigarette smoke stinks to him.
Once I knew who I am and what I want, I had to become the person that I want my partner to be. First, I had to learn how to have relationship with myself the way I want my partner to have relationship with me. For example, I wanted my partner to respect me. That's why I had to become respectful towards myself and towards others. Because I can't expect from my partner to be respectful if I am not respectful. Every relationship is a reflection of the relationship we have with ourselves. Relationships don't need to be complicated. If we learn how to have effortless relationship, everyone can learn how to have effortless relationship. That's it for today. Zhuya!